special video. Um, I haven't seen many of these videos on YouTube. I've seen um, Peachaloo do something similar to this. Um, he basically, this is where I learned it from, but I can actually repeat some of the stuff he says, because I'm not sure if everyone's seen that video, but it is a really helpful video, and hopefully it's helpful to you guys. So basically what it is, is how to test out makeup products at your makeup counter. Um, I find this is a really big issue for a lot of girls and a lot of women nowadays, because every time I feel like I go to a makeup counter like at Sephora or like the Bay or Sears or like anywhere like that where they have makeup, I see a lot of girls testing it in the worst ways possible. Like, I'm just shocked at how these girls actually test these products. So, um, I was watching Dr. Phil, no, it wasn't Dr. Phil, it was, it was Dr. Oz, like, a few years ago, or a few months back ago, and he mentioned that people who, when you test makeup at a makeup counter, it's best to go between Monday and Thursday, because the high traffic times are usually Friday through Sunday. So, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, avoid those days to go to the makeup counter, go from Monday to Thursday if you can. Because the reason why Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is, like, the most traffic and, like, a lot of more people can get to the makeup. And, like, it's just really, really unsanitary. So it's best to go, to, like, Monday, Thursday, either in the morning or in the afternoon or just whenever you can, Monday, Thursday, because that's when there's less traffic in the makeup counters. So um, I'm going to show you some of the tips that I've learned from Peach Loon and also from um, Dr. Oz or whatever that show was called. Okay, so basically I'm going to go through... Face products, eye products, and lip products, and just different tools you can use that can be, that is provided at the makeup counter, or you can bring it yourself. Um, first off, I'm going to sh show um, just powders in general. So, let's just say at the MAC counter, they have a um, powder here, right? Obviously, you don't take your finger and do it on your face. Even if you use hand sanitizer, um, if you are going to use your fingers, Make sure you use hand sanitizer. I, I wouldn't even suggest using your fingers at all because there are oils in your um, finger, and when you rub it against a product, it takes it leaves some of your oil onto the product and actually changes the color and consistency of the makeup product at the counter. So you don't want to do that. That's why you see some products either very hardened or they change colors, just like really different textures, because so many people's oils from their finger have gotten into the product, which is disgusting. So if you're going to test... Uh, foundation or powder finish or liquid foundation, I suggest either you, um, if the liquid foundation usually comes with a pump or you just pour it onto your hand, so you just easily pour it onto your hand, just test it on your chin area so it matches like your neck area, right? But for powders like this, I suggest either um, use a cotton pad or even like a Q-tip, just rub it a little bit on here, let me just blow that off, and just apply it to wherever you want it. So I'm just going to put it on my hand here, just, just for the purposes of this video. Okay, so once um, you finish product, obviously you put it away and just get, make sure you always have a new Q-tip every time you're using it or just make sure you have like all sides of Q-tip covered so you have it all covered and whatever. Okay, so next product is blush. It's the exact same way. You don't touch the product at all. This one's a NYX blush. Sorry, this one was a Mac Minimalist Skin Finish Natural and this is a NYX blush in the color Pinky. Um, I got this one at IMAS. Usually what they have at IMAS, they have like just the... Um, they just have the palette here, just like right there, and it's sticked onto the product, and then right behind is the actual product. So obviously you don't touch it. If you can, bring Q-tips with you wherever you go. They always have that travel size Q-tips you can always take. So just take this. I'm just going to use the other side of the Q-tip. Just take some of this, and just test it onto your hand. And there's the product right there. Never, ever put your fingers into it. Even if you have hand sanitizer or whatever, there will always be oil in your hands, and think about it. Someone else's oils have gone into there, and you're going to either apply it to your face, or you're going to apply it to your hand. You don't know what the person's got, so you always got to be extra cautious. Another product is eyeshadow, exact same thing. With eyeshadow, this is the Smashbox Eyeshadow in Pronto. Um, same thing, use a Q-tip, don't ever use your fingers. I know it's so tempting to use your fingers because it's just right there, but always please just, just carry a Q-tip. It's, it's not that difficult. They're really inexpensive, and it really does save you from getting any infections or just contaminating the makeup and you're going to change the consistency because sometimes even when you swatch a product at the store whatever's on your hand is not the actual true color because it's been changed by the extra oils that has been in the product and for cream blushes it's a similar thing um, you can use either um, a q-tip just take a little piece of it out and just rub it onto your hand or um, some places that have like little spatula things like this I know Bath and Body Works has something like that basically Kind of scoop out a little bit of the product and just apply it to wherever you want to apply it. Never stick your hands in this, especially since this is a cream product. Oh my god, just just don't do it. And even if they have a stick cream product, just, just take up a little chunk of it because you never know what people apply that stuff. So 
Just avoid. Just avoid. Okay. Liquid eyeliner. N now moving on to the eye products. Well, I showed eyeshadow. Now moving on to the eye products. Never, ever, 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 ever stick this in your eye area. Ever. This is the MAC Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner in On The Hunt. And, um, let me just show you what the applicator looks like. You never... With eyeliner, either you gotta, you have to buy the product. You can test it out on your hand, but never put this on your eye area ever. Um, sorry, this is already messed up. The applicator is really messed up. But this is the uh, application. It's a felt up applicator. And um, with eyeliner, it's okay to just test it onto your hand. So I'm just gonna put a stroke here on my hand here. Um, it's not a big deal if you put it on your hand. It's fine, but never ever apply this to your eye area because. You can easily transfer eye infections or like eye bacteria onto your eye area if you do ever use this. Never put it on your eye, okay? Never. Um, so here's just a line of it. It's just a black liquid eyeliner, but yeah. But any eyeliners that are liquid, test it on your hand. No problem. Okay. And now with pencil eyeliners. So this one's a Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in the color 22. I was just like a smoky, um, very type of color. You can either, if Let's just say you just pick this up from the Sephora counter, right? So this is the swatch right there of the eyeliner. And if you're going to swatch on your hand, it's fine. But if you ever do want to put this in your eye area, make sure you sharpen it. Some places they do provide pencil sharpeners, some don't. Or you can just bring your own, whatever. But you can sharpen it and actually put it on your eye if you want to. I suggest don't do it. Don't do that. Um, I just say just swatch it onto your hand because it's not a problem if you put it on your hand. But if you put it on your eye area, it's very, very dangerous because... Some people might have pink eyes. Some people, you know, you never know what's wrong with their eye. You don't want to stick it in that area. Okay. Next one is mascaras. This is one of the biggest culprits I've seen so many girls do, and it's so, like, ugh. It, it, it irritates me just seeing it, and it makes me cringe whenever I see girls do it. But, okay, some drugstores, they have the um, testers there. Some Sephora, they have the testers there. And some of them, they forget to cut off the wand. Because obviously when you open mascara, there's a wand, right? Uh, some places, they actually do take off the mascara wand. Because obviously when you open mascara, it has a wand on it. But some places, they actually do cut it off to prevent people from sticking on their eye area. So to test mascaras, I know this sounds weird, but it actually does work. I'm not going to put it on my arm here now, but whatever. Um, so... Some places they actually have like little mascara ones you can use so you can stick the mascara and apply it to your eye, but I don't suggest doing that. To test out mascara, never put it on your eyelashes. You put it on your arm hair or the hair on your fingers. I'm going to actually put some on my on my finger or my hair on my hand right now. You can see that. You can test out the mascara in that way or you can put it on your arm hair or whatever. But never ever apply this to your eyelashes. I suggest don't do it. I suggest you just buy it. And test it out. If you don't like it, just return it to Sephora's, return it to Shoppers, wherever you're getting it from. Because some places do accept returns after you used it. Most places, I don't think they do that. But to test out mascaras, you apply it to your hair on your arms or on your fingers, whatever. So you kind of see how it builds up the volume, which is simple. Um, they, some places, like I said before, they do offer the mascara wand, so you can actually apply it to that area. But never ever apply this to your eye because you're never supposed to share mascara because if you do, you can get an eye infection and no one wants an eye infection because you want to be able to see, you know? You don't want to become blind because someone else put mascara on before you did. Okay, next eye product is uh, liquid or cream eyeliners. This one is the one I got from Coastal... No, I won't get it. I think I got this at the first eye mask like a long time ago, but it's this like indigo, um, teal type of um, eyeliner. And to test these ones out, either you can use a Q-tip like I have here, or you can use, let me just take a little bit of the product here. You can use a Q-tip, just a new Q-tip like you can have at the store, just bring your own. Or um, these little um, scoopy things, you can just scoop the product out. So you take this and you just rub it onto your hand area. Never apply it to your eye area, always on your hand, because most people swatch on their hands anyways. And always bring makeup wipes with you if you are makeup shopping. Um, I do that all the time. So I carry makeup wipes or I just find makeup remover and just remove it off my hands, but there's the swatch right there. So always use the Q-tip or the spooch spatula spo spoony thingy. Yeah. Okay, so next ones are lip products. Lip products are also disgusting too because, you know, after people eat, they apply lip gloss or lipstick and, you know, there's like food stuff stuck onto the lipstick or the lip gloss or whatever you're testing. Disgusting, but very true. So, and, uh, so I chose a lip product like in a jar. This is the e.l.f. conditioning lip balm in SPF 15. It's going to open it here. It has like a little lid. As you can see, I didn't use much of it. But basically for these, 
Q-tip or spatula again. Don't ever stick your fingers in here because, like I said, you never know where the person's hand has been. So a spatula or Q-tip for any lip products in a jar. I know Kors has some lip stuff. Um, the Body Shop has some lip butters. Um, Elf has this thing, but any jarred products, scoop it out, Q-tip, put it on hand. Done. Okay, next is lipstick. So this is the lipstick I have from Makeup Forever. It's the Rouge Archers Natural in N26. It's just like a type of sheer, like red type of color. So with these type of lipsticks, um, most commonly people are just take it, swatch it on the hand. You can do that if you want to. But if you actually do want to test it on your lips, I suggest um, some makeup counters they have this, but they have rubbing alcohol. So what they do is they dip the lipstick in the alcohol, wait a few seconds, and then they take a tissue and just wipe off the layer. But the problem with this is rubbing alcohol can actually dry out the lipstick and change the color of the lipstick. That's why not many people do that. That's why most people commonly they just swatch the lipstick on their hand. So there's the swatch right there, the red one right there. So people most commonly they just swatch it on their hand, which is not a big deal. But if you do want it on your lips, I suggest doing the whole um, rubbing alcohol thing because you never know if someone just stick them on the lips and you bring your lips basically you made up with them and no one wants to do that. You don't want to make out with a random stranger unless you're into that thing. Good for you, but I sure don't. Okay, next product is another lip product. This is a lip gloss, but they know liquid lipstick from this one as well. But it's the brush tip applicator one. This one, obviously, you never put on your lips because it's the same cap cleaner for everyone. And you can't really know, like, what's, you can't really clean this in a way because the product's in there and the applicator's in there. So for this, you gotta just do it on your hand. So the swatch for this one is right there. It's very sheer. But always on your hand for this one, never put it on your lips. There's no way you can sanitize this to make it safe because that one's never safe. Uh, next one is just a regular lip gloss. It's a NYX Mega Shine lip gloss. This one is in color beige. I love this, and it smells like candy cane or cherry medicine. It smells so good. Okay, so this one, um, some places they actually have the wand stuck in there. Some places don't. If the wand is on there, um, all you can do is swatch it on your hand. And the swatch right there is just right at the bottom here. Swatch on your hand. But if there is no applicator, um, some places these do provide doe foot applicators for the lips, so you can just stick it in there and apply it onto your hand or apply it onto your lip. I personally would still put it on my hand because some people you never know, like maybe before they had the doe foot applicator in there and then they finally cut it off and you never know what's in there. So I just still put it on your hand, but you can if you want to put it on your mouth, but just gotta be very, very careful with that. So the last product is a lip gloss that comes in this kind of like tube kind of applicator. So basically this one's the ELF Super Glossy Lip Shine SPF 15. This one kind of has like an uh, applicator at the very end so people put it straight on the lips. Um, I suggest don't doing that because you never know who has this on the lips and you can't really sanitize what's in there because the bacteria can actually sit on there and actually creep into the product and you don't want to do that. So for this one, you just got to squeeze a little bit of the product and apply it to your hand. It's just this top one right here. So this one is how you would test out these products and basically by the end of your makeup shopping trip you'll have tons of swatches on your hand. That is why you need to carry makeup remover wipes with you or if the counter has a makeup remover wipe just ask for a makeup wipe and then you're good to go. So hopefully all these tips were helpful for you guys because I know a lot of girls don't really know that these tips exist but it is important especially I think that one of the biggest issues for me is um, the eye products like mascara, um, liquid eyeliners, pencil eyeliners, and the lipstick. You just gotta be very careful with these products because you never know, especially mascara. Never ever apply mascara on your eyes, ever. Just apply it to your arm hair and I'm pretty sure some of you have arm hair and if not, just even put on the ends of your hair if you have to. That is it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.